you decided to try going digital with your bullet journaling. In this video, I will show you where to start. In my first video on this YouTube channel, I explained why I think you won't regret starting digital journaling today and I will be listing just short points of that video now. You only need your tablet and a stylus to start. That means you can access your bullet journaling supplies anytime, anywhere and your workflow is so much cleaner. You can use all of the digital supplies forever, never creating any physical waste. No need to compromise your inspiration and creativity by having to rely on supplies that are accessible in your place or wait for the supplies to be delivered. With digital journaling, imagination is your limit. Times we live in are dictating new ways of expanding our creativity in a way that we are creating with our minds more. Now add all those points to the benefits bullet journaling provides and we can see that digital bullet journaling can quite easily become a perfect tool for planning and expression for some. So how do you start? There are a couple of ways you can have your bullet journal in digital form on your iPad. First thing you need to do is decide which app you're going to use for your bullet journal. There are apps that are designed solely for journaling and planning like Zinnia. Some people create their spreads in the digital illustration app such as Procreate. But one of the most popular ways of doing it is also in the note-taking apps such as GoodNotes. And this is the way I'm going to show more about today. In the GoodNotes app you can either draw and write everything by yourself on the blank paper templates that come with the app or use a pre-made digital bullet journal. I've recently created a new collection of realistic bullet journals called Moon Secrets, so that is the one that I'm going to use for explaining purposes in this video. You can find this bullet journal in my Etsy shop or on my website, the link to it will be in the description. If you download from my website, you should go to my account and find downloads there. Click on it, you can download the file by clicking on this purple box. If you're purchasing on Etsy, just go to purchases and reviews and you'll find the download link there. Now we're left with this zip file, click on it to extract it. And we have this folder. Inside of this folder there are three folders and one PDF file. If you're using GoodNotes, click on the GoodNotes file folder. To import it, click this file, go to the share button and find GoodNotes. Now choose import as new document. And we have our bullet journal imported into GoodNotes. These are all the pages. You can see stickers and other monthly tabs. Another way to import is from the GoodNotes app by clicking this plus and then import and then we need to find our file again in the GoodNotes file folder and just click on the file and that's it. We just imported the bullet journal again. It has all the pages again. First, turn off editing mode so you can easily use the hyperlinks. This bullet journal is hyperlinked, which means it's a PDF interactive file that has the embedded links on top of the pages. When you click on those links, they switch to your desired page. You can switch to a desired month, go back to dashboard, go to your vision board or sticker book. When you click on the bullet journal, it opens to the overview and then we have the months here. You can choose your desired month and when you want to go back to the previous months you should click the moon bookmark down there and back to dashboard and click the journal again. Then you have the previous months. This gives the design a cleaner look and your dashboard is your main page that way. There's also a sticker collection. This is your sticker book. And when you click on any of these swatches here, it goes to a certain sticker category. There are six categories. 
We have yearly, monthly, weekly, daily, trackers and other. These are all the pre-made stickers. These are all the stickers that you can use to create your spreads, but you can also use other stickers that are PNG files. You can also switch between categories inside the sticker book, but I will show you more of what's included in each category in the next as well as the last part of the video where we will be making a bullet journal spread. And this is a little place for your quick reminders, just a place to write something quickly or you can put a quote there or whatever you like. Now I will show you how to use the stickers. First we are going to use the files app to import the stickers. You should use the split screen like this. Let's turn off editing mode and go to our desired month to import the stickers there. When we open our bullet journal file, you will see a PDF file, a GoodNotes file, PNG individually cropped stickers and gift stickers that are also cropped. These stickers you get if you're one of the first 50 ones to buy the journal, afterwards you can get them separately. Depending on when you're watching the video, the bullet journal might look a bit different as I plan to release updates of it over the months where some new things will be added. So these are all the stickers that you can find in the folders. Now let's find a sticker that we want to import on our spread. Let's choose a monthly spread. And you import just by dragging and dropping the sticker into the GoodNotes app. So the first method is drag and drop from the files app. You can drag and drop the decorative stickers as well as other stickers. Another way of doing this is by using our sticker book from our GoodNotes file. So we should put GoodNotes here instead of the Files app. And then click on our bullet journal. So we have it opened in two places. Then we go to our desired category to choose a sticker that we want. When we want to choose a sticker, we should turn on editing mode back again and click on the image tool and then drag and drop like we did previously. Just we are drag and dropping now from the good notes. All of these stickers are pre-cropped so you can just drag and drop one calendar. You can also drag and drop these frames or washi tapes. It's pretty easy to do it. When you want to use hyperlinks again, you should just turn off editing mode and then find your desired sticker and back on editing mode. Another way of doing this is by using the lasso tool. Make sure to turn on images so you can copy them. We click copy and then paste on the other side. I will just quickly show you all the stickers included now. This is for yearly. Then we have monthly. You have different layouts. This is weekly. You have rounded corners and sharp corners. And these are some words and also days and months. And these are some stickers that can make your pages more aesthetic. Now it's time to create our spreads. You can follow along so it's easier for you to create your own spreads later. 
Of course, we turn on editing mode. And let's use drag and drop from the GoodNotes app. We're going to choose a weekly layout. I like this one. Now let's add days of the week. These stickers are pretty easy to use so you don't have to write anything. Let's also put which week it is. Week 5, I think. And put this circle so it looks a bit better. I'm adding this for the quote of the day. You can put whatever you want there and also some notes and also what I'm grateful for. I wanted to put this frame so I can put my photo sometime in the week. And I'm also putting these decorative stickers. I want the spread to look really beautiful and these stickers make it so easy for you to make a beautiful spread. I'm putting these circles for my tasks too. Now let's create another spread. You click this plus icon and then current template. This sticker makes it so easy to make a quick spread in just a few minutes. We just need to add days and dates. I'm using drag and drop from the files app this time. And also highlighting the number 5. We just add in the days and our spread is done. So quick and it just looks so beautiful. Now for the last part of this video I want to show you how to create this vision board spread. I'm using Pinterest to find some images. You should open Pinterest on Safari and not from the app because you won't be able to drag and drop from the app. I found some photos that I like and I will be adding the frames to them. Again, I'm using the Files app to drag and drop the stickers. Choosing my frames. You can resize them easily like this, so they fit your photo. Also, you can use the lasso tool to select two images at once, so you can move them together. Just make sure to turn on images on the lasso tool. And that is almost it. I'm just adding these pins. You can add as many photos as you want or however you feel like you can get really creative with this. And you can also write something in this part here. So that is it for today, thank you so much for watching, hope you learned something today and welcome to the world of digital bullet journaling. 
All the links will be in the description so you can check out everything I mentioned in this video and see you in the next one. Bye!